So I started teaching a form of this seminar like 15 years ago when I was just out of graduate school. And over the last 15 years, the course has sort of morphed to kind of reflect where I am in my career and also to reflect the fact that other people in this building are doing work in, the, in law and psychology. So the current incarnation of the course is something that my colleague Dave Hoffman and I decided we wanted to try teaching together. This year we had relatively junior scholars coming to Penn and presenting true works in progress to our students and getting real feedback from us and the class about the project that they're working on. There's no better way to learn how to be a scholar than to critique other people's scholarships, um, which is kind of what the class sort of is. It's, it's a workshop format. Um, and also learn something about the substantive material itself. And so, you know, both of those were a big part of my goal for the course was sort of a two-way learning and, and sort of what we accomplished. So I, I enrolled in this course firstly because of the professors. Um, I had a relationship with Professor Hoffman. Um, he taught my contracts class, so I knew he was a great lecturer and he was doing amazing research. And then I listened to the podcast with the other professor, Professor Wilkinson Ryan, um, and they make just a great team. Um, and then I was also interested in a new subject matter. So I enrolled in this course because I didn't have much of an experience in psychology and I wanted to see what effect that may have in the legal world. We spent a lot of time delving into these methods that go on behind the study and we asked a lot of questions and thought about, you know, what other variables might be at play. You know, do we think that the wording of this could have influenced the participants in some way? And that type of training empowers us to look behind big headlines and look, get really into the details of studies and critically think about it for ourselves. And that critical thinking is something that I think is incredibly valuable in, in any career path.